Welcome, Internet, and everyone out there in the ether to episode 30 of Sis and Big Pop's Culture. As always, I am Big Pop, Todd Turner, also known as Mosaic Fan Art. And I am Hannah Jo, a.k.a. Sis. Um, Together, we are an adult daughter-father duo. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family-friendly. So, Family-friendly. Indeed. I like family-friendly. Family-friendly. Okay, you got ready to say something I interrupted. So, Um, Dad. I was getting ready to tell you my spiel. Do the spiel. What do we got going on today? Lay it down. Spiel. We are going to talk about some pop culture news, and then Woo-hoo. we're going to talk about what we're binging, and then you're going to share with us your pull list. For those of you who are not well versed or have not joined us before, uh, we'll go over what a pull list is. Don't you worry your head about that it. That would be you, friend. Paramount Plus executives who haven't yet started uh, uh, listening. That's, you're right. You're if you right. would give us a free subscription, we would review shows on Paramount Plus. L O L. <laughs> Literally, I listened to one of my podcasts I listened to today, and the guy's like, he didn't like the comic book. He goes, but I don't care. I didn't pay for it because they give it to him for free to read. I was like, what? Give us free comic books to read. We'll we're read kidding. them. Anyway, what else we got? Binging. Um, we're, yeah, so we're going to go. And we didn't read a comic this week. Instead, we have two new pieces of media. Well, one of we, them's comic related, comic book related. We didn't read a comic. But one of but them we did watch is episode one of Loki. Of Loki, and we're going to talk about realized, it with spoilers. Yeah, I just realized that this is coming out after episode two has come out. No, yeah, you're right. Episode two, this will come out on Thursday. Episode two will come out, come the day out tomorrow. Right, unless but you're I, on oh Facebook well. Live and you get it right on now. You get it the the moment it is now. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, that was bad. I apologize, friends. Okay. Anyway, and News. then we watch a movie in the Heights. In we're going to talk about it at the end. Oh, it's news. so good. 96,000. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm ready. Nerd news. Nerd news. Do you know Vin Diesel's in the Avatar movies coming out? What? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently fast. I, I think yes. he's going dri- to drive some type of car really fast. Into the future. And he's only going to say uh, three words like I am blue or something. Have you? Have you? Have you? Did I send you what? the SNL sketch about Vin Diesel being at the movies? Oh, yes. At the movies. <laughs> that was funny. Dad, you, can be, you can eat popcorn at, at the, the movies. movies. I need you to know that I cackled for <laughs> like a good 10 minutes about that SNL sketch. Yeah, that was funny. It was okay. Oh, oh just, speaking of SNL, I really screwed up last week. I said that the guy in in um, Sweet Tooth was Bill Hader. It's Will Forte. Completely screwed that up. I don't well, know how I got that in my mind. Dad, nobody's what? mad at you. I know. We aren't investigative, journal- investigative journalists. I can't even say it. Investigative learning. Investigative. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was funny, whatever that was, that laughing that was, noise. That was uh, Facebook being mean to me. Okay. Yeah, so he's in Avatar. Do you know here? Hmm, I really liked Avatar. I really it was okay. Liked, I really liked it. I have the box collector's edition. I know. I know. I may have purchased that for you. Uh, you did indeed. It was a. I was mm, an adolescent a gift. when it came out, and I asked for it for Christmas or my birthday or something like that. I don't it think you were an adolescent, Christmas. were you? I think you were. I was in high school. I was okay. a freshman in high school. All right. Was I? Cool. I don't know, but it doesn't I didn't matter. Watch it anyway. I was anyway. Yeah. I know you're so, you're ready for I, them. And you know, Dad, love me some Vin Diesel. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm yeah. I'm here I like for it. I like Fast and the Furious movies. I'm not I don't know if I'm a Vin Diesel fan, but the Fast and the Furious movies. Have I, you seen him in a movie you didn't like? Um, no, I guess not. Okay, I liked Triple well, X, and I liked the Pacifier. Stays. All right. I haven't watched the Witch Hunter movies. Is he in that? Oh, wait. And Chronicles of Riddick. I liked those, too. I'm just Pitch saying. Pitch Black. You've never oh, seen those, have you? I haven't. Nope. <gasps> you should watch Pitch Black. I watched the first Triple X movie. Yeah, I watched it. It was we good. It, it was a little bit uh, raunchy. I forgot it being so raunchy. But it is PG-13, so what do you expect? So, well, well, uh, what's here new for to that. You? Um, they're making a Lord of the Rings prequel anime? Yeah, I saw that. The one of the girls in my uh, small group who loves anime mentioned that, and like what question mark? 
I don't know. I don't know. It's about it's about Helm's Deep. It's to give us some background about Helm's Deep. Will we finally find out where Gondor really was? Where? No, it's like it's a prequel. Where was so Gondor it's before... when the Westfold fell? <laughs> where? But that's where when it was fell. Where was Gondor when the Westfold oh, no. fell? No, you're right. It wasn't. It wasn't. You're right. That was. I so, need you to know that that's one of my favorite text messages you've ever sent me in my that's life. That's funny. That's I just funny. thought that was hysterical. Where was yeah, Gondor I don't. So is this going out by? Is this going to be Amazon. on Amazon because they own all these rights and they paid ninety bazillion gazillion they, dollars? Like, how much did we say it was? Like nine almost, billion. Was it nine hundred million? I can't. Shoot. Yeah, it was. It was almost a billion dollars to make season one of the show, but that is an anime. That's live action. I have zero understanding. I pulled it up. I just Re- saw they were making an anime. I don't know what it was about. I have no clue. No idea. The film will be animated and will be directed by a veteran anime director. Well, I, I have no clue. Who a that prequel is. to the overall story of Middle Earth. The story will focus on the fortress from the two towers and the man it was named for, Helm Hammerhand, the king of Rohan. Oh, well, I'll watch it, probably. It's the Lord of the Rings, the war at the the Rohirrim? Rohirrim. 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 Yeah, Horsemaster. You knew I was going to say that wrong. You give me your name, Horsemaster, and I'll give you mine. And that was my best Gimli imitation. That was that so, was a good ish Gimli impression, Dad. Somebody um <laughs> I saw two things that had to do with Lord of the Rings. Someone okay, we love it, bring it on. Someone sent a video about I don't know, it was like three rings for the hipsters. And they showed these three guys who were and then it was like uh five rings for the businessmen <laughs> who only did this and they all had suits and there was nine rings for the normal men who just worry about financial stability and it had all these it was so funny and then another guy uh in one of my groups sent a video no it wasn't a video it was just a it was dwight marrying angela it was a picture of dwight no and, and angela yeah, it's her and her dress. And he was like one ring to rule them all. No, 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 no. It said, it said, little do they know that when Gimli and uh, Legolas went to the Undying Lands, they pledged their love for one another and were wed. It's the only time Gimli ever shaved his beard. <laughs> it was like supposed to be. Angela was supposed to be Legolas and Dwight was Gimli. It was. Oh, it was, no. It was really funny. Yeah. Anyway, that's silly. Have you ever watched the Toxic Avenger movies? The Toxic Avengers? Yeah. See, Toxic Avenger one singular. This was a movie put out by a company called Troma, which is like known for their B movies that they are do terrible. Like, like the the Hungry Games instead of the Hunger Games. I don't know if he does those or not. He may. Like there but, are these movies where they I know. like make spoofs. Yes. This, I don't know if he does those, they do those or not, but this was back when I was in high school. It was okay, a, yeah, the Toxic Avenger was this nerd who was thrown into a toxic vat and he becomes like this huge looking deformed guy that carries a, a mop and, a, and he wears a tutu. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, they're remaking this and Kevin Bacon has signed on as the villain for oh, the remake cool. of the Toxic Avenger. That's hysterical. I know. So here's the deal. Anybody out there watching going, I think I want to watch Toxic Avenger. Don't watch that with kids. <laughs> no, don't at all. It's one of those, like, it's one of those where you watch with your hand over your, over you're your like, face oh, and you're no. like, and then you look around, make sure nobody's anybody watching, watching me watch this movie. Yeah, because it's, no. But anyway, I thought that was funny. Kevin Bacon, the villain. That's hysterical. Um, They're... Already in talks to do a sequel for the Cruella prequel. A sequel to the prequel? What would that mm-hmm. be called? The pre-sequel? Uh, the probably uh, 101 S- Dalmatians. Like- <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to the it's 101 Dalmatians. 32 Dalmatians. They haven't um, gotten that far yet. Two. I would like two Dalmatians, please. Um, With the same group? The same people? I don't know much other than they're in talks for... A sequel 
for the. I haven't watched this. I haven't really either. Have no desire and to watch here's it. what I heard about it because I was unsure if it, I liked it or not because it felt very much like they were. How trying can you to, know if you like it or not because you haven't even seen it? I, that's what I'm saying. I okay. was saying that I, I I wasn't sure, but that my thoughts about it was that it looked like they were trying to jokerify. Oh, we talked about I, that. Yeah, but not PG thirteen. You can't jokerify anything as a PG thirteen. Uh, kind of can i don't know well the dark knight movies are pg-13 that's true why are they so serious <laughs> that was bad so that was, i was here for it dad i giggled I, know. I um i don't know i want to watch it i will watch it i'm not gonna pay for premiere access for it um no but, me either but is no. then you say luca is gonna come out luca's not coming on- out this week I, I think, think. Raya the Dragon is now available without premiere access. Ah, uh, it is. And I, I do want to watch it. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched but, it either. I need to put that yeah. on the list. Uh, no, Luca. Oh my goodness, it came out already. What? Well, Luca well. came out on the thirteenth. Oh, there we were. We're slow. We're behind. Uh... Um, there. Remember the game Munchkin that we've that Nathan played had. It's like um. Yeah. With the, with the, with the, yeah. With the, like, uh, goblins or the. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Munchkin Disney coming out. Okay, dope. Yeah, I might be here for that. I think yeah. that might be fun to play. Apparently, you collect all these things to be the Disney Ultimate fan. And um, and also, another game that's coming out is for Nintendo. I guess they've yeah. got their big thing the going Switch. on. I don't know if it's the Switch. It said Nintendo Direct. I don't know what that is. Uh, I wonder if that's part of the Switch. But anyway, it's. Mario Party Superstars coming out October 29th. Cool, man. So, like Mario's, like Mario Party, mm. um, they have over 100 mini games. That's fun. Um, you can play against people online. It's up to four players at one time. Um, and uh, they're doing pre-orders through Nintendo right now, which means really cool. when the game comes out in October, you won't be able to get it. It's going to be sold out. Because it'll be a Christmas gift item, I'm guessing. It's like 60 bucks. I have been playing on my Switch. What are you playing? Still doing I've, your island? Uh, uh, you know that I love my little island, Dad. I started playing the game that Nate got me for my yeah, birthday. He, he wondered about that. He wondered if I, you'd played it. Yeah. What was the name of the game? It's like Captain Toad. It's like a bunch of puzzles or something. It's a bunch of puzzles, yeah. And so it's like a little block and Toad's on it, and you have to go through these obstacles and get diamonds and then get to the star so that you can save Toadette. But Toad, like, doesn't jump. And so if you fall, you have to start all over again. Oh, I don't like that. Starting <laughs> so all I, over is I horrible. I fall a lot. I'm not very good at video games. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I like them, either. though. I think that they're very fun. Anyways, so I... Um, and so it's really cool because you get to, like, turn it. You can, like... So it's like a block. And you get to turn it to see which way you need to go and kind of come up with the strategy and, like, see things from different angles. So that sounds like a fun game. It's really fun. Well, I'm glad you're playing I'm it. I'm not. Is it a one it. person or is it it's a two a, people? I can play with two people. Oh, well, there you go. So if you want to play with me, Dad. Yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Do you want to switch? <laughs> no, I don't have time for a switch. I don't have time for anything, so That is switch. untrue. It is not untrue. Okay, Anyhow. whatever. What else? What, what else you got? Um, they're making a Gaston and LeFou TV series. It's been greenlit for eight episodes. A prequel or a, a pre- sequel? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I know. It's a prequel. It's a pre. Okay. I know that Luke Evans and Josh Gad are, have back, both in it. are back to be in it. It I is lo- going to be so good. I... Okay, so I'm it's not, gonna be so good. <laughs> I wasn't the biggest fan of the Beauty and the Beast movie, not because of their characters. Their, char- their characters I, were the best characters in that. There, they were fantastic, absolutely a hundred percent. I loved Gaston and LeFou. It was hilarious. Okay, here's my, what I'm not gonna my, do. My issue was the girl. Here's the thing: she does Who not sing. What's her name? Emma. Kristen Stewart? No. Emma. Who was the girl that was? Emma Watson, was... right? No. No, 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 no. No, it was the girl. It was the girl who is on Harry Potter. 
It's Emma Watson. Oh, is that what her name? Sorry, I didn't know what her name was. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a girl. Yeah, Dad, Emma Watson. <laughs> Sorry, <The girl> from- <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I didn't think she was that great. Yeah, and um, but other than that, uh, I man, thought the movie was really good. I here's enjoyed here's it. what I am never gonna bash me Beauty and the Beast content. I know cause you because you love Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite. I watch French Beauty and the Beast movies. I watch subpar Beauty and the Beast movies. I have watched. Have you watched the TV show? Beauty and the Briefcase or no. Beauty and the Beast, the TV, the the like weird one. From like the 80s? Yeah. No, not the 80s. I've watched the one more recently. No, you should go and watch Beauty and the Beast that TV was in show? the like 80s. Okay. Yes, it I'm starred. Gonna write it down. Okay. It starred Linda Hamilton, who is the real buff girl on um uh the terminator movies oh dope Get and R- ron perlman the guy who's hellboy yeah was the beast that's so yeah funny. i really like the french one yeah no big gusto that's oh no that's spanish that's spanish we oui, we oui. the french that's one <laughs> was really cool it was weird baguette Metamoisel. Baguette. Yeah, that's about L-O-L-O-L-O-L-O. it's about the extent L-O-L-O-L-O. of my uh, French Frenchness is baguette. Well, that's about all the news I have, except that they're coming out with a new X Men number one comic book. So, I don't know if that's big or not. It's big for me. I may actually get it because I haven't been collecting any X Men comics because they've driven me crazy. But I'll probably start this just to to be on board. Okay. I'll yep. watch it. Watch it. It's a book. You got to read it. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, thank you. We're only talking to one another. I, I have a feeling this about, pod. I, I got an email about accreditation and I needed to look at it. Oh, okay. I'll cut well, this bit out, sense. but I, yeah, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It won't Dad. be cut out on YouTube. It won't. I'm sorry, YouTube friends. No big deal. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's about it. What book were you reading? In regards to what? You were talking about a book, something you read. No, a comic book, a new X-Men comic book coming out. Oh. Issue one. A new X-Men? Yeah. Golly, Hannah. Yes, X-Men number one. It's coming out again. They're doing a planet size X-Men number one instead of a giant size X-Men okay. number one. And they're creating a new X-Men team. Team, a new team book. Which so, like, I don't know why. People because people are going to be in it? No, same Are they people, creating new, team. new characters? No, same characters, different team. The I X-Men, mean, for the la- I know, for the last two years, the X-Men comic books have been so off the, the rails. Par. But no, people. some people love them. Not me. I, did, I just couldn't, I can't take it. Matter of fact, mm-hmm. I'm stopping New Mutants because it just seems to be killing oh, me. I thought you liked New Mutants. I do, but the book has just driven me bonkers. Mm-hmm. But, so what they're doing now is now like, What's happened in the X-Men comic book is that they're all living on this island called Krakoa. Any mutant, it's like a mutant Is that like a Greek word? No, it's the name of the island. It's called Krakoa. It's just the name of the island. I'm just curious. It's in the tropic or wherever it is. It's a made up. It's a made up. Okay. Um, uh, So anyway, the Krakoa is a living island. And all mutants, whether you've been evil or good, are welcome on Krakoa. Does it eat people? Well, which is funny because in the giant size X-Men number one, which is the first appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus. Who are awesome. Um, We've se- talked some about that. Second appearance of Wolverine, mm. also the first Prince of Thunderbird. They have to go to Krakoa to rescue the original X-Men who've been captive, captured by the island. Weird, I know. Anyway, that was how we were introduced so they to, need to get off this island. Well, no. The island has uh, mm-hmm. got a deal with the X-Men. It's weird. So now the good and the bad the are working together. The, the mutants are like, they have like medicine that can, that they uh, are like Man, bribing it. countries with. It's weird. Cool. Now, now they have the ability, if anyone dies, they can bring them back. And um, so it's really bonkers. I don't know where it's going. Planet anyway. sized. Explain to me planet sized anything. 
it's just a big hyperbole because they've already done giant size. Riddle me this how Batman? big planet size is. I don't know. I is ten bucks, bigger? ten dollars is what I'm guessing. <laughs> that's why eight ninety nine. That's ding, planet ding, ding. sized. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Anna, what are you watching on the boob tube? So I watched Suits. Did you finish it? No. Okay. I've been watching more Suits. The shenanigans these people get into, man. I'm here for it. And it's this is for adults. Yeah. Okay. I found this YouTube channel. <laughs> About what? Called the Nasrana Diaries. I don't even know what that. That sounds Nasra- like something that happens when you eat bad listen, Mexican food. Listen. I got Nasrana Diaries. Daddy. Sorry. Nas- Nasrana is a um, wedding store. Bad words. Words were bad just then. It is a place where you go to buy Indian traditional wedding garments. Like you can buy. I got you. That makes wedding sense. Wedding lingas. I uh, like, so like bridal dress and. Okay. Got dress you. For the Understood. Grooms. And yeah. it is like what not to wear, but for Indian weddings. Oh, I would have no clue. And it's awesome. <laughs> would they wear <laughs> that black vest I wore to Brock's wedding? They wouldn't wear that, would they? They would not. With so the skull on the back? It's very, very... Well, here's the thing. I think wedding traditions of different cultures are just so beautiful. Like, they're, well, they're just so different, cool. that's for sure. They're just... It's so interesting to me, that, like, the different colors that people wear mm-hmm. and, like, the traditions to honor family members and to honor... Um, like I don't, I don't know. I just think it's so. I got cool. you. So, are you watching this as like a show? Yeah. So, like, so that's there, what you're watching there's too. There's three seasons. Each season has eight episodes, and each episode is like twenty to thirty minutes long. Oh, that's quick. And it is like what not to wear. So the, these women show up, and it's do very they speak English or is it? Yeah, they speak English. It's in it's in right. English, and okay. they um, oftentimes bring their like fiance which i think is very interesting and so he's he's there and gets to have a say about whether or not he likes the outfit because that's not something that's traditional in my culture so it's very cool to watch that i don't know how it showed up on my youtube recommended i have no idea but i clicked on it and i am hooked man i'm hooked i love them so much i've just i like know like the people and like you can you guys tell, are best buds. yeah, the fashion expert. Her name is Shia. I really like her. She's expert at finagling the difference between what the bride wants and what the family wants, and figuring out a good middle ground. Gotcha. It's so cool, man. There's other stuff. I've like I've been I've been playing a lot, my Switch a lot more, mm-hmm. which has been really fun because I've missed doing that. Well, that's good. I haven't yeah. done that in a while, so it's been fun to play that more. I um just watched Batman again. The Which, 1989 okay. Mark Jack Hamill Nicholson Batman. Jack Nicholson mm. um yeah. I can't get the dude the actor's name out. Yeah, I can't believe I can't get that out. Michael Keaton. Yeah. Um had it in the background while I was working on my mosaic downstairs. Which and, looks um, dope by the way. Thank you. It's going uh, it's going well. And um I just love that movie. I, I had a conversation with uh, with Nathan about, um, I believe, and you think about this, what do you think is the most iconic reveal of any character in any comic book movie? That's the thing, you know? And I, I believe that the most iconic reveal is the Joker in that movie. Like his Joker- like face kind of just... When, no, when he comes, when he introduces himself to Carl Grissom, and he goes, Jack's dead. I'd see it. I've already been dead once. As you could see, it's been, I can't remember, what, whatever. Anyway, you'd have to go back and watch that scene where he steps out of the dark, and you can see him as the Joker. And then he, of course, kills Carl Grissom and sits down at the desk. Teared on my face. And he and he's, reads, the mag, reads the newspaper, and it says, winged. Winged freak terrorizes city. Wait till they get a load of me. Then he goes, uh, Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> oh what Jack an Nicholson's bird, character is fantastic. He's good in that. Yes, but just him stepping out of the shadows. Because actually, we I up until that point when that movie came, that was, you know, people waited in line around around the theater to go in to see that movie. You, I, that doesn't happen anymore. I, I've done that before. Like waited around a line around a building? Yeah. What movie? The second Avengers movie. Endgame. You waited around a building. I already for had that? my ticket, but I wanted a good seat. Got there thirty minutes early you. and had to wait in line. I got you. We had to wait to buy tickets, and then you get in there and they go, "We're already sold out." Uh, you know, that's what. But yeah, that was great. No, this was this was. I'm buying my tickets. Get me in to see this movie. This was. Nice. But I, the theater the closest to me is not a reserve your seats theater. It's a reserve your ticket theater. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. But that's what I, and actually downstairs, we were watching Alien, the first Alien movie. Which, which you we were going to watch, and I haven't seen. It's on Hulu. Okay. For freezies. It's rated R, guys. So don't let your kids watch that. Batman is PG-13. It's um, PG, but it's PG-13, right? Is it PG? I think it's PG-13. I don't know. Le shrug. I mean, Le shrug, love that Joker. It's got, you know, people die in it. I bl- and he shoots his Bob, shoots Bob, which I didn't like. Bob, gun. Aww. Guys, I'm gonna need a little bit of time alone, boys. Oh, I no, yeah. Bob. Anyway. Is he your favorite Joker? Jack Nicholson. Yeah, because you said pick four Jokers. You could pick your four, right? Mm-hmm. So I would go with Jack Nicholson, mm-hmm. Caesar Romero. Which is who? That's the old school. Holy That's Marlon Magician, Batman, Joker. Holy Marlon Magician, Joker. I, like I would him. go with Heath Ledger. He's really good. I those are on my three. Those are my three too. The fourth one, I don't know. Mark Hamill. It, or I the 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 Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is awful darn good. I didn't watch that movie because I knew it would make me really, really, really sad and yeah. hurt my heart. And so I chose not to watch it. Do you know what I think? What about that movie? You think it was all in his head? I don't think it ever happened. I think it was all in his head. I think at the end, he's telling her a story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hurts my heart. But why? we don't ever know. Part of the <clears> reason why I chose not to watch it. I wouldn't watch it. I didn't watch it for a long time. I'm not going to. But I it's ended up watching unlikely it. highly unlikely I will ever decide to watch that film. And I liked it. I thought it was I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad for you to enjoy it, Daddy. But it's a rated R movie for sure. Absolutely. All right. What do you want to talk about? Uh, do you want to do pool list. Let's your do pool, pool list. list? What is a uh, a pool list? Yeah, we've talked about this before, but a pool uh, list is, is well. Some people who are listening to our podcast, this is the first episode they choose to listen to, and they don't know what that word means. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you should newest. go back and listen to some of the other ones. <laughs> like listen to like the first. <laughs> listen to like the first three. They're really good. Skip about the, the middle you think ten. The first three are really good. The first one's great. Oodalali, uh, Oodalali is really good. It's really fun. Our like sound we really is subpar. Not in the first one because we were together. Sound quality's good in the first one. Okay. Because we we recorded it together. Okay. And then and then um, go, there for a while in the middle they're really bad, but now they're back to good sound wise again. But anyway, um, <laughs> I collect comic books, and a pull list is a list of comic books that you give your local comic book shop owner, and he or she will pull them for you before they put them out in general circulation um, to keep uh, grimy kids from touching them. Yeah, and you're grimy kids. So, Just kidding. We think comics are acceptable and collectible for all humans and all walks of life. I, listen, I, I went there to Scott and um, I did not get any new number ones. There was a new number one out and he was like, do you want this? It's Web of Spider-Man number one. And I was like, no, should I? He goes, well, some people are selling it for 20 bucks already because apparently it has the first appearance of the kid who was in Iron Man 3 in a comic book. Like, you know, the kid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, where yeah. he uses his. Yeah. He said the kid, and I'm like, the kid. Because what they anyway. think he's going to be the new Iron Man. Iron Tom Lad. Tom Holland is going to be the new Iron Man. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I was like, I was like, yeah, I think I want it. And then I was like, no, I don't want it. I got enough. I don't need anything else. So okay, I said, listen, so you... I said, Scott, you keep mine and sell it. Make 20 bucks. So 
Um, so you have for us two Marvel comics, two DC comics, two independent comics, and your book of the week. Yes, and I struggled between what was my book of the week, and I think I've changed it. So anyway. Bring it on. So Bring it go, on. We're going to go with my Marvel books of the week. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been touting Strange Academy for a long time. And you this really is a like comic Strange book. Academy. Yeah, and this is an all-ages kind of book. I think kids could read, but it's got a little bit of magic in it that some parents might not dig, and a little bit of peril. Um, like in this episode, uh, one of the characters who's like a frost giant, I think. No, he's not a frost giant. Isn't Loki he's just, a frost he's a, giant? No, no, no. He's made out of crystal. He's a crystalline. Cool. He, um, he's a crystalline creature anyway. He is killed? Not really know. killed. He's shattered. He's made out of crystal. Guess what? You can put him back together. Um, and it becomes who shattered Toth. Uh, and uh, so that, and they call in. T-O-T-H? T-O-T-H. And a detective comes in to try to figure it out. And it's Howard the Duck. <gasps> Howard the Duck. No one Howard is the Duck. Howard the Duck comes to investigate this. Um, what's happened is. That's I believe hysteric. I thought you were saying that Howard the Duck is the person who shattered him. You're no, saying Howard the Duck a, is the detective. Correct. <laughs> Howard the okay. Duck is the detective. And he's okay. interviewing all these people. And we get to listen to him, you know, give his little like detective spiel as he's interviewing people, which is really fun. Is it her um, Perot-esque? It is it is really Agatha, actually good. Agatha Christie proud, papa. Well, there's not an ending to it. Well, there is an end. We find out who did it. One of the other students did Disney. it, but the but the student has a, like a creature inside of him that's... So we're getting ready to handle all that, cool. which is interesting because um, at the end of this year, Marvel mm. is killing off Doctor Strange. What? Why? Because they're going to make him big and hype. Pourquoi? Because then everybody will want to go read the comic book and see the movie. Ugh, lame. So, Anyway, Doctor Strange's books are fairly decent, but they don't sell well. He sells best when he's in with a bunch of other people, like a group book. So like they're going to do like, a, yeah, like Strange Academy. They're going to do like a six issue death of Doctor Strange, and it's going to be a murder mystery type thing, too. So, hmm. yeah. But anyway, this is a really good book. I love that they brought in Howard the Duck. It's fun, um, and it sets up the reveal of what happened, and now this creature's attacking. And what are we going to do? That'll be in the next issue. I'm surprised so, that his books don't do well. Um, because his well, movie was one of my favorite movies. Yeah, but it wasn't one of the highest grossing. I mean, mm. if it, I don't know. Who knows what makes money anymore in comic book land? Um, another book I got. Us. No, I have no clue. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, b- I buy. Got. I'm buying junk books, books that are terrible. I talked about how I loved Heroes Reborn when it first came out. I got the first two issues. Heroes Reborn is a Marvel comic that something bizarre has happened and the Avengers never formed. Yes. Um, The group called the Squadron Supreme Mm -hmm. was formed. And they're basically, um, this group was created in the 60s as a knockoff of the Justice League, just so the Avengers could beat up the Justice League. Um, Hyperion or Hyperion, we call him Hyperion. Who's creepy? Who's, we don't like who's him. Who's a Superman character? There's Power Princess, Doctor Spectrum, who's the Green Lantern. Anyway, all these Ugh. characters. Nighthawk, who's the Batman? Antithesis. Mm. So the first issue was really good, and then the rest of, and the first two standalone. They put out like standalone issues. One, Weird. which is an issue that is in the same universe but could be read separate, and. Um, the first two were really good. One was uh, Spider-Man, the amazing Shutterbug, and Hyperion, and one about him. And after that, they've been terrible, honestly. But this time, I got one that I really like called Night Gwen. Night Gwen. So like so, Spider Gwen, mm, question mark? It is. It's Gwen, Stacy. But instead of, but like I said, they're they're sort of like DC charactering all of these. Mm-hmm. So she's like Nightwing. Oh, okay. Like Batman's. She's also like Oracle, which is like Barbara Gordon. She's like a combination of all the Bat teen characters. Okay, dope. And um, I thought the story was really well done. Um, the art was good. And I would literally read a Night Gwen comic book. And, and okay, Nathan says I'm sexist. I'm not. I just don't like female comic-led comic books. But 
<laughs> I'd, I would read Night Gwen. Like I said, how I would read the new Wonder Girl, the new Wonder Woman if they you brought out her book. You are reading the new Wonder Girl. Fantastic, yeah. So Night Gwen. Those are my two uh, Marvel books. Um, my two independents are issue number twos. The first one is The Good Asian, issue two. You like that one. I do. It is set in the 1930s. And Who's it's, that by again? It's Image Comics. Um, and I can't pronounce the people's names because I'll butcher them. The issue is, is that this this guy who is Asian, he's, Ameri- he's an American-born Asian from Hawaii. But in the 1930s, there was something called the Chinese Exclusion Act. There, it was internment. There was Asian internment in America. But that was after World War II. That was even after this. This was before that. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was like um, Chinese people weren't allowed to immigrate, immigrate in or whatever. Um, but what's happening is, is this um, detective is coming to, um, he's coming from Hawaii, Hawaii. to um, California to investigate the death of a maid who worked for a guy a rich guy who basically took him and his mother in who we think he might be his son. We think the rich dad had a thing for Asian maids. So anyway, Uh, um, it's really interesting because they use terminology in this. That was terminology to the time, but now would be completely, you don't call someone from Asia Oriental because that's what you do to describe a rug, you know, uh, mm-hmm. but they use language from that time. And in the back, there's a bunch of information about the exclusion act and everything. Awesome. And about We love it when comics educate people. And that's what they're doing. Cause yeah, we love that. Um, we and ta- the we story about is that before. so good. He is such a good detective. It's neat how they show like he, they'll, the panel will be all drawn. And then all of a sudden there'll be like a, a square around something with a dot mm-hmm. to it. So it's like him seeing something. Um, kind of like psych. That's what somebody else said, but I've never seen Psych. So in the TV show Psych, uh, the main character is pretending to be a psychic, but he's not a psychic. He's just really, oh, really observant. Gotcha. And so mm-hmm. when he's remembering things or seeing things, he like does he go to his mind palace? No, that's Sherlock. Okay, he's near. No, you're fine. He like sees something, and then the like screen kind of goes in a muted color, and then the thing kind of like lights up. Oh, I got you. That's cool. Yeah. Like in, yeah, exactly. Very similar to that. Yeah. So I love how that's done. That's fun. Um, I also got issue two of Eve by Boom Studios. Okay. Eve is the story about the little girl who has to save the world with her robot teddy bear. We talked about that briefly. I think we have, but I... Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. So this little girl, um, she's like eight <laughs> years old. She's robot been... Teddy bear. She's been in suspended animation all this time learning about what to do. Her dad um, uh, created this robot, yes. So she is having to go, I think, to like the seed vault. Um, This has a lot to do about climate change. Mm. And actually, um, the the people writing it, this is what they wanted. After they had their daughter or child, they were like, let's write a book about climate change and um talk about you know what it could do and what would happen with children and yeah so it's really neat um and uh in this episode she gets attacked by people that aren't people anymore and the teddy bear uh (sighs) yeah he becomes pretty pretty big so anyway and at the you go first at the end of the issue she show she is she is by herself because the teddy bear is still fighting off the creatures and she is met by a bunch of humans with like, gas masks and goggles and stuff on. So I'm interested to see how the next, uh, ep- the next book will go. This mm-hmm. makes me think of a couple different things. What? It makes me think of the movie Mother. Which I never saw. Oh, you should watch it. <laughs> yeah. It had um, Hillary Swank in it, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Buddy, that I don't like weird. I don't like creepy and there mothers. Was this... Mothers, I don't like creepy. I don't, I don't like creepy, like mothers, creepy like mothers. Yeah, and there was this very poorly done movie that I watched on Netflix. I think maybe Hulu. I can't remember. What was it called? I what can't. It Dad, I have no idea. I watched it a year, like a yearish ago, in the middle of quarantine because I was scraping the bottle of the 
barrel of things I would find interesting, man. And it was this guy who works at this prison on this planet and it's where they send where like it's kind of expanse-esque where they send people to this planet if they are like criminals and don't want them on earth anymore and so he oh yeah and like the president's daughter gets stuck on there or something or whatever no no different movie but okay. similar ish and all, all of the people turn into giant turtles giant turtle creatures that want to eat people Oh, yeah, that has no clue what you're talking about. And giant the, turtle people? Yeah, and the, one of the giant turtle people becomes her friend, and she has a secret language with, like, this little girl grows she up go, with this giant turtle person. We're not turtly enough for the <laughs> turtle club. It made me turtle, think of that. Turtle. That is horrible. Plus mother. Gotcha. Plus another thing that I can't remember. That was All a right, really so, bad story. I am so sorry. That's okay. So... Uh, <laughs> This book um, is a DC book. It's DC Future State Gotham. Okay. They're still doing Future State? Yeah. This is, um, they're trying their hardest to bring Red Hood, who is, was Jason Todd. He was the Robin that was killed. Remember? Why? Well, you know. He was a lame-o. Anyway, he's Red Hood now, and he hates Batman. And he hates Batman, and yeah, anyway, because he thinks Batman should kill. Anyway, the only reason, this book is in black and white and Ooh, um, that's dope is his hood it's all in right. red it's all right nope it's all black and white Ooh, um the art looks eyes. rushed so i'm not a f- i'm i actually was thinking i might not get this book anymore mm. the pro the thing about it is is that i got a it had a backup story in it about you got it for the backup story oh the backup story was so good it's written by john ridley the same guy did 12 years a slave he's also Ooh. writing the other history of the dc universe oh yeah and it's the um african-american batman That's the cool. dark detective and um and it's got a like a female robin who is Uh-oh. also Dope. um of color and it was a really it was <laughs> I hated I hate for the poor guy who's drawing the primary book because I thought, oh my gosh, this one in the back is fantastic. Plus they did a pinup. <laughs> um they do did a they? pinup of Batwoman in it. Dope. And it is fantastic. It's gorgeous. And um yeah, but a the pinup the, doesn't mean for people listening, a pinup yeah. means something that you would tear and pin up on your thing. It doesn't correct. Mean that it's it is a clad lady. No, in comic books it means it's like a uh, one whole picture, one page, one picture that's drawn to. They could should be a poster. Yes, it's a poster. Yeah, they it's have like two or poster. They had a couple pinups in this, hmm. and um, the one about one was gorgeous. But the that's story, so cool. the the backup story is what's worth getting for Future State Gotham. So, <laughs> so up until this time, I had this book as my book of the week, but I've since changed. Okay. So. I'm going to make this book my other DC recommendation, okay. which is Joker issue four. Okay, so what's so good about it. The Joker. So the Joker comic book has been basically a Jim Gordon, Commissioner Gordon book, which because he's we're here for, I think. Right. Somebody gave him twenty five million dollars to kill the Joker. And he said, and pass. no, he's not decided yet. Oh, because so, he's not allowed to say pass because they have something on him or they have his the, daughter no. or something. No, his daughter is Batgirl. Oh, you're right. I'm wrong. So Oracle. But anyway. Never mind. So so he, this story has taken a couple of different things. First of all, he asked Batman to find out who the person is that hired him. Find out. You're the we best detective. You've told us Right. That. We talked about that. Right. So in the midst of all of this, um, Barbara, who he knew was Oracle and Batgirl all along. Um, he, we talked about that uh, too. Right. So she's trying to find out who this girl is. The Jim Gordon has tracked Joker to a tropical place where he where he's been held up, where he's held up like sipping Mai Tais or whatever. Of course. And Lady Bane, who we think is Bane's daughter, whatever. And another rich family is coming to kill Joker, too. So there's and they they all converge and. um, Uh. Jim Gordon has a chance to kill the Joker doesn't and doesn't do and gets knocked out and wakes up and he's tied to a chair. And so 
here's the deal. We haven't gotten a lot of Joker, which has been okay. We've gotten a lot of Jim Gordon, but this is the most Joker we get. Right. So the Joker has Jim Gordon tied to a chair with something over his mouth. He's like, you were going to kill me, right? Uh, And and um, he has the son who's come to kill him of the rich family. They're like supposed to be like super bad guys, too. He has him chained. It is gruesome. So the Joker is having a full on conversation talking to Jim Gordon while he's mutilating this guy's face. It's it's bad. Oh really no! Bad. Why? And, um, but the thing of it is, is he's like, "Listen, Jim, I know I can always trust you, you know, to do the right thing and to do, you know." Um, Ugh. and Ugh. Uh, I wanted to find <sighs> something in here to tell you. Anyway, so he, um, I can't find it. It's okay. Wait a minute. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes, this is so. The cool thing about this book is it's drawn by the guy who draws Carmen. Remember the comic book that I told you who wrote and drew Carmen? He is doing the art for this. So the art's fantastic. So basically what the Joker is saying is we talked about how they released all the Joker gas at Arkham Asylum and killed everybody. They're calling it a day, right? So the joke, that's why these people are coming to kill the Joker. The Joker said I didn't do it. The Joker's like, Jim, it ain't me. I need you to find out who did it. You know, you got to know it's not me. Oh, no. And um, he basically says, uh, it's it, there's a good inner dialogue between Jim Gordon. He talks about how he's never been, he always thought he was a good man, but he sacrificed so much to fight evil. Like he, he uh, his marriage broke up. His son went crazy. He has a bad relationship with his daughter. All this mm-hmm. just to fight evil. So he he's, so like, doesn't know how it, to. Was he, it worth it? He goes, I don't know how to be a good man but I know how to fight evil. And there's a difference. Um, there is a difference. And um, so Joker knocks him out and Jim Gordon wakes up and Lady Bane is there and lets him loose, doesn't kill him and says, Gordon, go back to the city. You're already like waiting too much into the dark. You better go before you fall too far into the dark. Oh, and that's wow. how the, yeah. There is a backup story in this. It's a punchline backup story. The new Joker's new girl yeah, and they're yeah. terrible. So don't read them. <laughs> <laughs> so my book of the week is book of the week is a book of the week book of the week um justice league last ride issue two this is the book by chip Zdarsky, who's doing daredevil who i just love and this is the last ride for the justice league this is issue two the justice the batman and superman don't talk um no one's is surprised ha- by that Something happened. The Martian Manhunter is dead, and we think oh, no. Aquaman is dead. Oh, no. And uh, Batman pretty much, I, I can't tell who they blame who, but I think Superman has a lot of guilt. Um, so they have to protect the character called Lobo, who's just an intergalactic mercenary bad I know guy. Lobo. Yeah. And um, so their deal is they're going to take him to Apocalypse, which is Dark wow. Sides. Yikes. Yeah home you come to find there's a lot of backstory about what happened why they're broken up why there's such tension between the two and um it has to do with dark side the battle with dark side okay there's actually one scene in there where the martian manhunter and batman are doing something and john says batman if this doesn't work what do we do what's you know because batman always has a plan and he goes i have no idea so the cool thing is this book is this issue is called batman's orders so it's like you do what Batman says because he has a plan and like he did not have a plan. The cover right, of this Batman comic always book always has a plan on a plan in a plan with the, the sub plan with, with a sub plan and another plan. <laughs> and right. if the sub plan doesn't work, we take root E. <laughs> so the cover of this book is Wonder Woman in her battle garb with yes. her sword. It is gorgeous. In the comic book, she is fighting in the comic book. She is fighting. Um, oh yes, girl. Uh, the She's in people from Apocalypse. Battle Guard. Like if you've AKA seen the movie, the the wings, wings stuff from the 1984. Yeah. So in the book, she is fighting these people from Apocalypse during the thing that happened that broke them up or whatever, mm. and um, all these the fem- the 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 bad guys and there's Granny Goodness. We talked about Granny Goodness, how she mm-hmm. created all these evil things or whatever. And she's fighting Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman, basically, there's just a scene. She just flips that sword around. And you see Granny's head fly through the oh, air. No. 
Yeah. So <laughs> good book. Great story. Yay. I can't wait to see where it's going. Woo! Yep. So that's my book of the week. Book of the week. It was the book of the week. All right. So <laughs> do we want to take a break from comics? Yeah, let's and talk do about height. The in musical? the heights. In the heights. Okay. I don't know what you thought. First about of all, this, in the heights is rated PG thirteen. It is on HBO Max. For this it month is, because it was released in theaters. So if you are out and about and have been fully vaccinated and feel safe to go out and back to the movie theaters, you may or if you do just so. just want to be a rowdy bunch and go. Or yeah. We I don't mean, judge. Please be I'm safe. I'm vaccinated, so you do you. Make safe choices, please. Yes. We care anyway, about you. Yeah, so In the Heights is a musical that was written by, I never can pronounce his name. Lin-Manuel Miranda. It was hot when I was in high school. This was written when he was a sophomore at a Wesleyan university. He was at a Methodist university. No way! And wrote this musical. 96,000. I think it was 1999, I think, is when he wrote it that. It didn't could be come wrong. out until later, Gator. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so this is a musical that has been turned to a, a movie. It's not like Hamilton, mm -hmm. which was a Hamilton. If you've seen it on Disney Plus, it was it's a, a stage production. It's the stage production. Right. This is a movie very mm -hmm. much like the movie Rent that came out. Um, mm -hmm. If you've ever seen that. Um, OK, Hannah. Yeah. Give us the story. So In the Heights follows um, it's narrated pretty much by this guy, Usnavi. Usnavi, which stands for U.S. Navy. U.S. Navy. I love it. I love that part. I thought it was so sweet. His dad named him Usnavi because he, as he came into, he saw a ship. As and he came a, into America from the America, Dominican Republic, he saw. It said U.S. Navy. And he said, I'm naming my son that, Usnavi. Usnavi. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sweet. So Usnavi is a bodega owner. For those of you who do not live in New York and don't know what it's a like, a little is, shop on the corner, like mom and pop shop. It's where you go if you get need... your coffee, your lottery ticket, your yeah, milk, so it's, your sandwich. It's, it follows these group of people who are all from the same block, who are from Washington Heights in New York City, and all of them are uh, Latina or Latino. Yeah, and they well, most all of them. Are, most of them. Most the one guy is African American. Mm -hmm. For the majority mm -hmm. of them, right? And they, um, and it's stories about their life and about their trials and about things they want and things that they don't want. It's all about their little dream yes. that they all have. I can't mm -hmm. say the word in Spanish. I know. Siento? I can't either. Siento? I can't either. Ooh, I took French, y'all. I'm sorry. But yeah, okay. It's cutie. It is um, my friend, um, uh, friends, Adam and Kim, she yes. put on her Facebook that she loved it. It was fun for the whole family and loved yes. it. Here's my issue. Uh Oh, I have an issue. Okay. What is it? This is not the issue I had with Hamilton. And here's okay. why. Okay. Because I had listened to the music for Hamilton forever. I had every song almost memorized. You, didn't, you couldn't tell it what I, the words were. Correct. Correct. It was well, hard so for me to follow the music. No, well, understood, but they gave they they gave a lot of context so that you could they understand did. what the Spanish. And they and if it was in Spanish, they said it in English. Mm -hmm. So or enough, you knew what they were saying. I, um, you know what that, I did. And it was like, and I was like, I just, I got, I couldn't follow it. Guess what you could have done. Yeah, you put on subtitles and watched it with subtitles. Dad. I can't read that fast. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't a good movie. Mm, I, think I it was thought phenomenal. It, I and to full disclosure, I just watched it? the first half. Oh, no. Dad, the second no. half gets heavy. I, I know. Can what I happens. spoil it for you? No, I know what happens. Okay, what happens? I know what happens into the heights. What? Well, maybe these people. Are we going to spoil it for these? Let's people? spoil it. Why not? The, the grandma who's not grandma dies. Mm -hmm. It's who sad. had the lottery ticket. Who had the ninety six thousand dollar lottery ticket? Yeah, yeah. And what is yeah. what is? And he ends up staying. It, she lives his it, dream. She leaves it to Usnavi, and Usnavi gives it. Pays to Sonny, the down payment. Yeah, gives it to Sonny so that he can get citizenship. Yes. And then, but he somebody co-signs to get the other girl her place. Mm -hmm. Did you? And Google the other this? girl, the other girl goes back to school. And here's all I thought. Okay, here's what I thought during this. Yeah. Hannah. Yeah. 
you follow your dreams. I am. Your dream. My dreams aren't your dreams. I the first time I ever stepped into I don't one of my want own you dreams to was ever when feel like I am pushing you to do something you do not want to do. I the the first time I remember like the first like grown up decision that I made to follow my own dreams and not you and mom's dreams was where I went to college. Okay, good. So I'm I'm doing it, Dad. Good. Okay. Thank you. Because I felt so sorry for that girl. What's her name? You know, who had the pressure of the whole block Nina. on her to go to, yeah, to go to Stanford. Nina. And I can see that. People have that pressure, especially mm-hmm. from that tight, tight-knit community. Mm-hmm. Um, but it deals with, it deals with that. Um, it actually deals with a little bit of racism in it. Um, mm-hmm. Because no, the they, dad they did, not, did not like her liking the other boy because he wasn't a Latino. Mm-hmm. And she talks some about how she was treated at school. Yes, and how she was she mistreated was at school. She was poorly at school. Yeah. Oh, especially at the uh, dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the... And, uh, well, she, she I don't know, did you watch the dinner scene at Abuela's house? Mm-mm. She, no. Nina's character, Nina, um, went on move-in day, they searched her stuff because her roommate like <laughs> said that she stole something from her. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. But it was in her bag all along. She just had not seen it in her purse. Gotcha. It's just, ugh. On move-in day at school. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Who, so, here's the deal. We would never do that. No. Would we ever do that? No. Are you kidding? First of all, do I have anything that's that valuable that I would worry about if somebody took? <laughs> if you need it, just ask. You can have whatever you want. Except for my Fantastic Four collection. No, if you needed it, I would give that to you, too. <laughs> But it has to be a legit meme. Um, Something that I thought was really funny, don't know if you noticed, that I thought was really, a couple things I thought was really cute about the way that they filmed this. Um, in the original production, Lynn was Usnavi. Oh, it's really? One of, Today, this one, he's the guy selling the juices. Selling the ices. Yeah, the ices. Yeah. yeah. And so, I thought that's who he was. So he was the, he was the Usnavi he was, character? He was Usnavi in the, in the original. And this is the guy, the kid who was in this is the guy who was, he Phillip. was uh, John Lawrence and Philip. Yeah. In Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of the things that I thought was really cute is they just kind of like a, did a, like a passing of the torch at the very beginning where yes. one of the first interactions he had on screen mm-hmm. was with Lynn's character. Yes. I saw that. That was Which cool. I just thought was really interesting. And if you hadn't, like, if you don't care about that kind of thing you're like know the history of the musical or the history of those two actors like you would just be like oh that's cute I, like you wouldn't I even can't, read into it i can't imagine anybody not watching this anybody watching this who doesn't know who makes it <laughs> i would have i have a feeling that's the biggest draw yeah and, and the music I, well and did you see that george washington was the guy who's in charge of ice cream truck it was george washington oh no i didn't pay attention that's it was george great. washington my and favorite while... okay you go first i'm sorry my favorite was the the song the lottery ticket song the what are you gonna do with 96 000? Yes. Oh yeah when he if starts i want the lottery and even talks about frodo yeah and the they changed ring. the line <laughs> oh really was it a bad it was not was it naughty it was not... yeah it was naughty <laughs> yeah well, I, I would have never caught that. So. Well, I, I, yeah, you wouldn't have. I was just waiting. And he's and has a lightsaber. They have a lightsaber. I thought that was really cool. And the he way pushes that they it did to go that. to get down. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was Obi-Wan really Wan Kenobi. But what did he say? He said something I can't remember. It wasn't Obi Wan Kenobi. I, it was something like that. Yeah. So, I, of course, I appreciate that. And I love the, the young kid rapping in the swimming pool. Yes. And then he's like, coming up. making the faces and everything. And he's like, yeah. yeah. I thought that Who was are cool. you? And I'm like, he. <laughs> and I just kept, I sat there watching, going, oh yeah, he's a star now. He's 12 the, years the old. He's character. a star now. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't. The I had seen Nina's dad in West Wing. He's, been, he's uh, uh, yes. I had never seen. That's the only piece of media I've ever seen that man in. Was he ran for president in West Wing, the last like season or two of West Wing. Was him running for president? Um, Jimmy Smits. Uh, uh, your mom's like, who is that? Because I recognize him. 
And I was like, he, it's Jimmy Smith. Yeah. When He's he a big actor. On, He's been around for a long time. When he was on the phone with Stanford, mm-hmm. the music that was playing in the background was yes. We'll Be Back. Yes. <laughs> I caught that too. It was King George. I was like, was I George. caught that. I thought yeah. that was hysterical. Yeah. Oh, that was so. Funny. So this is okay for teenagers. This is yeah, good. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I mean, there's like, I'm trying to think. There's no like big curse words or anything no, like that. It's got some. Um, it has some deep stuff. Yeah. And some and some ish some um what do you call that? Not issues, but topics that they handle, um, which might be a little too much for some middle schoolers. But, but I don't think so. Watch I mean, I it think and it's then a, see. Like I think middle. I think it's a pretty good movie. It. Um, my only issue was understanding. Long. Yeah, it is long. It is way long. I was like, "Holy cow!" I can't believe I said, "Let's watch this." And then I got through ha- over half of it, and I was like, "I gotta go to bed." And then never got back to it. But, um, like Hannah says, you might want to watch it with subtitles. I love or, watching it with subtitles. But if you watch it with subtitles, you may miss some of the little nuances in the acting. Especially in some of the songs, because there's, there's like, um, there's animation and it's not like cartoons, but they do do like, the guy puts his hand up like he has a lightsaber and it, they animate a lightsaber in his hand. That was just for one song. For just for one song, so you should watch that. Um, but yeah, um, my issue was understanding the words. Yeah, I'm not surprised that ninety six thousand was your favorite song. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. It was. I'm, I'm not surprised by that. That is a dope song. Yeah. And his first song where he introduces all the people. Mm-hmm. In, where in he the talks heights. about, yeah, In the Heights. That's That one was like too. Like the opening. Yeah. All the other ones, though, were like, they're, you know, they tell a story. They cut um, out some of the songs from the musical. Okay. Um, I like what they did as Usnavi telling a story throughout it i've never yeah. seen the musical so i don't know if that's the way it usually is done or not i've never seen it either so. but i really enjoyed that like if it okay. kind of broke it up into more manageable chunks for me so um if you could give it the max being ninety six thousand dollars um what would you give it uh the full amount i think dad i would give it eighty thousand okay maybe eight maybe eighty five thousand dollars okay yeah, okay. just and my only issue is, it is way long. But the 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 biggest issue was me Not being unfamiliar. So it's it's my and that's my that's on me. If I knew well, the musical, I wouldn't be a bother. I would. Well, not every person you're not gonna know every yeah. musical's music like Hamilton when you go to see it. I know, right? right? Like it's just exactly. Just Here's the deal: possible. what I should have done. What I should have done is listen to the soundtrack for a, a couple months yeah. and then watch the movie. That would have and maybe that made might be a good fun. idea. Yeah. So there. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, that's just something for us personally, too. Like, we right. like to know. It's yes. fun for us to know what the music is and be able to sing it. Because I like to sing along because we're a singing family. We like we to sing. We sing along. We like to sing. Okay. <laughs> Loki spoilers issue, uh, uh, episode one. It was so good. It was so good. I um I loved it. Okay. Um did you catch the Peggy Carter thing? I didn't. Was Peggy Carter there? Peggy Carter is it's like a side uh, thing of Peggy Carter in one of the things. I'll send you the picture. But um I, so the whole premise of the Loki thing is what I thought was interesting was they, he goes to get the uh, the cube back, and they opens the drawer, and, and it's filled, so, with filled with infinity stones. Infinity stones. And what what I think is so interesting is that Loki is not that he wanted the infinity stone; it's that he he wanted wants power. Power. And so once he recognizes, like, if you keep these in like a in like a drawer, he's like, oh no, this is the most powerful place in the universe. And here's yeah, what and I here's what I was worried about, because I'd forgotten that this would be the Loki without any of the character development that we've witnessed to this point, like the Loki in the comic book who's god of mischief. 
and right. who like who's like a genuine like kind human being to be around who like actually loves his family and like he's not he's still a god of mischief i mean he's still a god of mischief you can be mischievous and still genuinely love your people right he just and wants so, to be king yeah i mean but that's what i was worried about like i was like oh no like i was really excited to like i was watching it and the entire time i was thinking he's like he doesn't know he has had none of the development. He's going to be oh, that right. turd that he was exactly. at the end of the last movie. He's not going to have any. But then he watches it. So he I thought that, that was all. really smart. Because yes. I was sitting there like, this is going to kill me. Because I know that he can be a good person and that he just isn't right now because he hasn't lived his life yet. Right. But he so does. Like, he if sees I have to life. watch him be a turd for this entire time, I'm going to be so mad. Because Tom Hiddleston is just such a good actor. Yes. I'm like, just let mm-hmm. him... Not be a turd, please. Like, let him be good. Because. I yeah, I agree. Him. And so I, I was really glad that they kind of remedied that in the TV show, that they had him, like, watch his life. And watching him watch his life and then start crying made me start, like, I, like, wept. I was like, it's just, you love your family. And you're and when his dad was like, I'm proud of you, sons. And he started crying. Yes. Ah. <sighs> Ah, ah. I cried. I saw somebody who showed uh, it had had um, Loki and then it showed Hela and then somebody went to Thor and said, are you sure you're not the one adopted? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so you come to find out at the end that the variant that they're chasing is Loki. Is Loki. I, I have happened. a feeling. I think that the Loki that we have here is the same Loki they're chasing. That they're really? chasing this Loki. Yeah, because this is what he's, he wants the power. Did That's you all see he at wants. the very end that he stole a time bomb? Yes, he's been stealing them. He stole one before. They said he stole one, that that's what he's been doing. They wipe, he wipes good. out the, I know. It's not that's good. not good. I thought that the, I really am liking this whole like 80s, 70s like vibe that they got going on. With a dot matrix like printer. Office worker and, uh, vibes. Yes. With like Casey. push carts. And... What's your name? Casey. Could you give me the infinity stone? I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> what's a fish? And he goes, <laughs> what do you mean what's a fish? Well, I have to know some form of reference so I can figure out what kind of. He goes, have you never seen a fish? He goes, no, I pretty much just stay here all of my life. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I think that that vibe is really fun. LOL, that guy who is like, do you have it? Grab a ticket. I'm not grabbing a ticket. No, 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 no. And then they like, z- walk through and then they zap him. The guy, he, he goes, he goes, I tried to take a ticket. The guy wouldn't give me one. Did you hear him say that? And then and they Loki zap him. almost wonder- didn't take a ticket. And he's and like, he's oh, like no, reach- oh, no, my ticket, my ticket, my ticket, my ticket. And the like time clock, the like clock thing. He's like yeah. dancing. Yeah. Like, I think that's a famous actress. Judgment. No way. I think it's like uh, I think she's a voice actor. Actress. That's so fun. Her name I think Tara something. I can't remember. I'd I thought Owen Wilson being like, "You're always looking down at me," seems fitting. Owen Owen Wilson was great in. He this. was just so good in it. So good. He was so good. And, <laughs> and uh, the lady trying to the lady uh, police yes. officer. <laughs> Casey's like, <laughs> "You almost true. hit me with that thing." He says. <laughs> so. I hope we get to see Casey again. I really liked him. I do too. I do too. We'll find out tomorrow, um, or we tonight will. at midnight. So, um, oh, well, I'm not staying up that late. I I like it. I I'm interested to see where it's going. I I am not going to do what happened with flipping Wandavision and watch 18 million fan theories. Not going to do it. None have popped up on my TikTok. All of my-, my TikTok is right now is Bo Burnham's Inside's comedy special, which I watched. Don't watch that. Okay, I won't watch it. Um, you sent me a TikTok with that I already saw, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I thought it was funny. I wanted to show it. It was, was Jack funny. Black. I'd seen it already. Well, you're this welcome. This was, yeah, it was good. Um, the, go ahead. No, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hear what you're going to say. I'm wondering if we're going to get Kang. I don't know who that is. Kang the Conqueror is going to be the villain in the next Ant-Man Multiverse? movie. Multiverse? Oh. He is a time traveler. And that's what he does. He is in like, he has like multiple incarnations of himself. He's, uh, he's like a Pharaoh and his first appearance is in a fantastic four book, which I have. 
I and am then, the morning and the evening star. And then he also was Immortus. He's also Iron Lad. He's been like any each incarnation Interesting. Interesting. hates his own self. Oh no, that's so sad. But his biggest unknown is Kang the Conqueror. Okay. And he all about time travel. So Interesting. which is hilarious because the the comic book that I loved called the Peter Porker, mm. the mini series that I read yeah. had to do with um uh Kang time traveler and it was <laughs> Kang Guru the time traveler. That's his Kang Guru the Conqueror. Yes, Love that. it was really good. Yeah. I um think that they're going to set up the multiverse for Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness pretty well good. here. I think that yeah. that could happen. Um I don't care. I'm I'm enjoying it. I, I, I wonder love if the if the symbols that they picked for Loki mean anything. Because well, they, I don't think so. Okay. Because there's multiple. I think they're just saying that there are multiple Lokis. Okay. That's a way of saying that. Because I watched the the intro and the post credits. Uh, yeah, so, same. Just to see, you know, how they were doing it. And I, I like how they just picked different. They just, like, kept rolling over different Loki letters and everything. Mm -hmm. So Well, I mean, they they landed on, like, what they're using in their marketing materials. Right. Of course they are. So I so. didn't know if that meant something. Um I am really excited. I'm just, I'm excited about it. It feels like it's going to be full of shenanigans. Yes, but still a little bit. Um, Timey oh my gosh. Strangey. Yeah. Sh yeah. Strangey cringe. There you go. So I loved what it. I'll watch doing? it. You're going to watch the next episode? Oh yeah, for sure. So you for haven't sure, watched sure. Captain uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I still haven't watched that and I still haven't finished. WandaVision. WandaVision. I know what you happens. should. You should watch it. It's good. I know what happens. Of course, everybody knows what happens. But Cap the Winter, I keep wanting to say Captain America. The Falcon and Winter Soldier is fantastic. I need to rewatch it. There's this trend on um, TikTok about like no group of girls ever dresses the same for any occasion. You have like the prettiest Slavic housewife at the market, um, which is uh, that one guy. I can't remember his name. I don't know. What are you talking about? The, the from from Captain from Winter Soldier, Baron Zemo. Yeah, they're like yeah. that's him, and then there's like Avril Lavigne, and that's Bucky, and I can't remember what Sam was. Oh, but it was just well, it's just a funny trend that I've seen on TikTok that they did about that. I mean, it's not funny. I did a bad job of explaining it and can't remember what the third thing <laughs> is. <laughs> Oh, well, there so. you go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, go watch it, fam. <laughs> Lee. Woo! So, Hannah, end yes. roll. Yeah. So, uh, ooh, that was, was I really loud just then? Okay. Here it is. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Our art is created by Nathan. Thanks for doing that for us, bud. He made it in Microsoft Paint. It's pretty much what? the coolest thing in the entire world. He is phenomenal and supremely talented. Thanks for doing yeah. that for us. Um, our music is created by the newlywed uh, Brockwell Nason. Check him out on Amazon Music, Spotify, wherever you listen to the music at. His stuff is pretty good. He our also podcast, has Instagram. He does. He does. Mm -hmm. That's also a fact. Our podcast is edited by yours truly, and our YouTube is maintained by Dear Old Pops. Which is code for Pops. Put some crap up. I, I mean, ain't done it in a while. Anyway. Not, ain't nothing but chicken wing. Hey. We're coming up on a year. We want you Woo! guys to join us. Maybe hey. we'll... Hey, and if anybody's out there that wants to, you know, we'd love to have a comic book creator on our be one a year anniversary. Be on a podcast app. That'd be dope. That'd We'd be love to have you. All right. Well, have a great uh, morning, night, evening, whatever you are. Have a great... We dish. hope yes. you have a wonderful Father's Day weekend. Yes. When you download this. Yes. So there you go. Because it's right. the big pops and the sis. That is That's what right. we, that is our dynamic indeed. That is us. Well, we love you guys. Have a yes. great evening, Bye, morning, night, wherever. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. Facebook friends, thanks for hanging with us. Yep. See you, YouTubers. Bye.